Hi, just a quick demo of Gaia 2 as it's progressing. Here I've got the new stamper. I've got a terrain. It is 5 by 3 by 2 kilometer square. So if I click on one of these terrains and have a look at its settings, here we go, 2K by 2K. Running it at a relatively low height map resolution just for speed, but I'll show you both. Um, so, in my stamper, I've loaded up a stamp, I'll set its uh, power to 1, and as I move around, what you can see happening is, I'm actually, this is just for debug at the moment, but the bounds of the terrains which will be affected, or the terrain tiles to be affected by this stamp, are actually highlighting. If I just hit apply, there it is. Um, I'll move them across a bit, you can see it moving, if I make it live, as I move it, you'll see the touch stamps moving around. At the moment I've got an issue with, um, I haven't actually, I've, I've passed all the information down to the, the compute, but um, I haven't actually turned it on yet. So um, now I've actually just made the stamp a bit bigger and as it, as it actually hits more of the terrain, you'll see that they'll start to update as well. So I'll just move across here. I set this to say zero. Say zero. Now, it might not look that much at the moment, but that's a lot of work. That is 10 kilometers by 6 kilometers getting updated very, very quickly. So I can do things like if I drop down the height a bit, you can see it's dropping down the, the um, this, uh, stamp. If I uh, just turn off live preview, and then let's just drop the size of this thing down again. So it just affects one terrain. You can turn live preview back on. You can see as I, you know, essentially you're on a single two kilometer by two, two kilometer terrain. This thing's essentially real time. If I move this over to here, I'll turn off live preview, move it over here, and turn it back on again. And you can see it's actually following the, the thing around. So yeah, it's coming along nicely. The uh, the next phase is to actually modify the uh, compute shader itself so that it supports the, the new um, information being fed by the framework. Hope you enjoyed.